Bienvenido a mi canal. Suscríbete ahora. <laughs> Y'all got no idea what I just said. <laughs> Alright, for real though, guys, I got something serious to talk about today. It's, you know, I'm just chilling on Instagram, scrolling, you know, vibing. And then I come across this video of a haunted house. And I'm like, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. I do not like that. But then I realized that it's a church. And I'm like, with who? I've seen this and I, I just had to show y'all because there's, there's no way. A church made a demonic haunted house in their church. Is that, that, that's what? But anyways, I'm gonna show y'all the video and tell me what you guys think. Let's get into it. This year's spectacular event at my church was a special family-friendly invitation. Bro, at church? See, this is, see, I'm not lying. This is at a church, bro. Okay, wait, wait, wait. let's continue, let's continue. To tour the Wait, creepy. it says family friendly invitation to tour the creepy and spooky Adams family abode. Wait, what? Wait, whoa, nah, nah. And spooky Adams family abode. Although there were no perfect creatures allowed, we did manage to find some good candy and good music. We also discovered a bizarre and eclectic array of creepy. No, bro, no, stop. Stay there. They did not have the screen masking. No, 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 no. This has to be fake, bro. This is this real? Am I dreaming? There's no way a church would do this, right? Right? There's no way a church would do this. No, right? Right? Thank you. Creators from all walks of life, from eerie specters to endearing monsters. Each adding their own. Well, well, no, wait, let's go back for a second. They have this is the altar, and they got some witch looking thing up in there. <laughs> wait, 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 whoa, 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 no, 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 don't get me started. Don't get me started, bro. Ooh, ooh, don't get me started. Ooh, I'm about to, ooh, I'm about to. Dude, this, this does not make me feel good. Unique charm to the event. Among the peculiar beings were some that felt oddly familiar, almost like they were my own kind. Okay, and just cool. when we wow. thought it couldn't get any stranger, Dude, this is... there was a pirate. Anyway. This is, this is, they, no. I did not just see the pastor with a Wednesday thing for his preaching. No, 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 nope. New, new, no! Okay, Pastor Dave reminded Pastor us. Pastor Dave, who's Pastor Dave? Let me talk to you, Pastor Dave. What, what kind of pastor? This is a witchcraft pastor, bro. What? Reminded us that just like the Adams, family can be weird and wonderful all at the same time. What did I just watch? They had a literal haunted house in their church how does this come how does this come into people's mind literal demons in the church i'm not lying you guys saw it with me guys guys hear me out hear me out tell me if i'm tripping or not all right so jesus you know what i'm saying he came to the earth to defeat the demons you know like the whole purpose of god is to defeat the devil you know which is like all this demonic stuff so with that being said that means jesus is the opposite of demonic stuff so why in the heck is there demonic stuff in the church making make sense bro i can't i can't my mind cannot comprehend this how is this even an idea all right the name of this church is called church by the glades and i don't know who the heck this pastor dave dude is but someone's gonna have to reevaluate who the heck is leading that place bro because they need a new leader there's some churches out there they want to celebrate halloween i do not agree with that but if y'all want to do that, then do that someplace else. But in the church, bro, to putting demonic signs and symbols and that's so disrespectful, bro. And I'm going to bring a verse so y'all see that I ain't tripping. In 1 Corinthians 13, 6, it says, Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. God is love. That's what it says in the Bible. And it says, Love does not delight in evil. Well, bro, demonic stuff is evil. 
Halloween, which these people are celebrating this, is evil. Whether you celebrate it or not, you have to realize it's evil. That's the whole point. Evil, spooky, do, 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 do. that's evil. So it just saddens me that a church cannot see this and they decide to put all these things inside of where you're supposed to preach and save people. God called us to be the light in this world. And if someone wants to say that I'm tripping, what would Jesus do? You think Jesus is going to, in his own church, put pictures of demons on the wall? Is he going to have a witch looking thing on the altar? You guys have to think about Jesus and not about yourself because we're representing Jesus. And I believe this church is not representing Jesus in a good way at all. Um... I love my church. That's all I gotta say. Cause my church ain't tripping like that. That's all I gotta say, bro. They ain't not doing that. But anyways, guys, if you guys see this church um, run, if you guys see a church like this, please run for your life. Because whatever the heck they believe is not the Jesus that I believe in. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. And honestly, I'm gonna continue to expose these churches that are representing Jesus in literally the most wrong way possible. So like and subscribe so you guys can stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, baby. Peace. It's a war in the city, it's a war outside. We spread lies, it's a 